Okay, so this is a video about triangle mid-segments. So let's get us a triangle here. And if I take the midpoint of this side, and I take the midpoint of the side over here, and I connect them, this guy is what we call a mid-segment. Okay, so we're going to note a couple things about this mid-segment. This is going to be what we call the triangle mid segment theorem okay so first thing this mid segment and this base look like they're parallel right so the mid segment and base are in fact parallel uh, the second thing is is that like if we call this x, y, and we call this a, b, then x, y, y, that's ugly, x, y has to be one half of a, b. x, y has got to be half of a, b. And that's going to be something that we have to prove, right? But two key facts. The mid-segment is parallel to the base, and it is apparently half the length. All right, so let's see if we can prove these. Okay, um, the easiest way to kind of attack the proof, oops, to attack the proof here is to try to do it by using coordinates. So we're going to be very careful about where we list these coordinates. We're going to call the point in the corner down here. We're going to put that one at the origin. So we'll call that 0, 0. Um, we're going to make this go completely horizontal. So and we're going to say that this lands at 2a. I don't know where 2a is, but it's 2a. And since we've gone horizontal, the y coordinate is still 0, right? All right, and then point C is going to be up here. And this is at some arbitrary place up and over. So I'm going to call that 2B, 2C. Now, why did I make all the twos? Because I'm looking at midpoints, right? So I want the midpoint between 0, 0 and 2B, 2C. That's just the point B, C. And maybe we'll call that one M, all right? And at point N, if I also want the midpoint between these two points, right? It's 2a plus, well, it's pretty simple. It's actually just the average of 2a and 2b, which is 2a plus 2b over 2, which is just a plus b. And the average, the distance between uh, 0 and 2c is 2c. So this will just be c. All right. So I have the location of the two midpoints given everything else. All right. So first off, um, this goes from C to C, which means the slope of this line is zero. This goes from zero to zero, which means the slope of this line is zero. If the two lines have the same slope, they are parallel. So that shows me that the two line segments must be parallel. That's half of my theorem. The other half I have to prove is that this segment here, what is this? This is MN, is half the length of AB. Well, the length of MN, it's not changing on the C at all. The length of MN is A plus B, take away the B, it's just length A. So that's the length of MN. The length of the base here is just 2A. That's the length of AB. And in fact, MN, which is equal to A, is half of 2A, which is half of AB. So the mid segment is half of the base. Okay, so the mid segment theorem tells me two things about the mid segment. One, it tells me that the mid segment and the base are parallel. And in fact, it's half the length of the base. All right, so that's it for mid-segments.